nowadays everything is a spectrum fluid and i am the most important thing so i told my wife that from now on I have my own adverbs and she must accept them and respect them. So I told her that I prefer to be called handsome and a genius. So she was smiling and said, you're stupid. Go back to work and do your tasks. So let's go back to meditation. Wisdom is the gateless gate. Just awaken the mind and be alert. Turn your attention from the outside and radiate within. Let the awakening and watching be perpetually alive and bright. Cut off the three poisonous minds. Permanently melt them away. Close the door of the six thief entrance so they cannot sneak in. Then immeasurable virtue and merit, various adornment and truth will be attained. Pass over the old beings, kill them and attain the holy result. A second could be a far distance away, since enlightenment is between now and the blink of an eye. Why should you wait for gray hairs? The truth gate is profound and bottomless. How can we even talk of it at all? We have only been talking of a simple way of watching the mind to let it be seen a little bit. Even if it's always in front of you, this is no easy task. When you encounter a baby dragon, you have to kill it. even if it's a small, cute dragon. If you're not able to destroy it, you will be eaten alive and running around without any mother and father. So can you kill a baby dragon without hesitating? It will grow into a monster. And the longer you wait, the more difficult it becomes. 
But if there is already original mind in every distinction, in every movement, and at all times, why can't we see it while this physical body is abnormal? Just with meditation? Original mind is always appearing in front of you, but just you, yourself, do not see it. Have you ever dreamed? When you had a dream, was that your own body? When you're talking and moving, is this different from yourself or the same as yourself? If it is already not different, then this body as it is, is your original truth body. This body itself is your original mind. This mind from the beginningless beginning is nothing different from what it is now. It has never been born. It has never died, never perished, never increased, never decreased, never been dirty, never been immaculate, never been good, never been bad, has never come, never gone, was never right, never wrong, never a man, never a woman, never been a monk, never been a layman, never been old and never been young, neither a saint nor an ordinary being, neither God nor an indigent being, has had nothing to attain, has nothing to practice, has had no cause, no effect, no energy and no form. It is like empty space. It cannot be held nor dropped, but it is not nothing at all. So what's going on here? So is it possible to become enlightened without seeing the self nature? If one endeavors to perfect the practice of chanting, reading the scriptures, upholding precepts and exercising great discipline. Is it possible? No, it isn't. But why? If one says there is some truth to be attained, big or small, that this is the truth of the form of doing, the truth of the cause and effect, the truth of the necessity of inevitable result. Since this truth cannot avoid life and death, at what point could the way of God be attained? To attain enlightenment, one must see the self nature. You must see your very own self nature. Without seeing the self nature, speaking of cause and effect, 
are all outside the truth. God is the non-consequential person and is without cause and effect. As soon as someone says there is some truth to be attained, big or small, then you are actually humiliating God. My nature is originally void. It's a potential. God neither upholds nor violates the precepts, neither practices the good, nor causes the bad. God is the one who does nothing. When God is called God, it is already not God. So when all is one, dwelling in blank-minded emptiness, blinded like a drunken man, you cannot distinguish the good from the bad. You mess it up, turn it around. If you want to practice, see the self nature first, and then rest the thoughts stemming from outer perspectives. Someone who ignores the truth of cause and effect. While causing all kinds of bad consequences and says that everything is originally empty and there is nothing wrong even though I do some bad things. Without fail, he will fall and enter into the exitless hell and the lightless hell eternally, without hope of getting out. Because of this, a wise one would not raise this kind of thought. So everything is one. Everything is energy. All is the one spirit. But where does is one is going to. Although working hard, even until the physical body becomes ashes, without knowing the divine self-awakening nature, you are not a human. What's going on here? This mind is not separate from the four elements of the physical body. Without this mind, one who moves does not exist. This body does not have knowing just like weeds and trees, or like roof tile and this corpse itself does not have feeling and sensation. How can it move? Everything is one. And usually it's an excuse to be lazy. Because everything is one, 
Why don't you jump right into it with all what you have? We somehow feel disconnected, fragmented, in thousand pieces. So what are you actually looking for when you want to meditate? What is the telos? the purpose of our self. We somehow forgot the telos of a human. We don't know what a human is anymore. We don't know what this mind and body is. We don't know how to use it because when you know how to use it, you know for what. So that confuses us very deeply. Parents, don't know anymore what their purpose is. So the children just become friends. We forgot what the purpose of the word is. So they just become empty words disconnected from reality. When you listen, when you speak, when you see, when you smell and when you taste, when you think, when you touch, it is always there. The word manifests in the world. That's the logos. It's real. But still we have to speak of it. So what's going on? If you would ask me, I would say this is our family tradition. When there is no seed, it has already sprouted. Thank you very much.